Honorable Speaker, pass one to the provisions of standing order 442A. I rise to give the following statement on behalf of the House Business Committee, which met on Monday, 7th October, to prioritize business for consideration during, this, during the week. Honorable Speaker, as members are aware this week, the House considered the special motion on the proposed removal from office by impeachment of Hechi Honorable Rigadi Gashagwa, Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya. I stand before you today to express my heartfelt gratitude to you, Honorable Members of this House, for your sacrifice, active participation, and overall dedication and contribution during the recent impeachment motion. This process, though challenging, exemplified our commitment to uphold the principles of accountability and transparency that are the cornerstone of our democracy. Your engagement and thoughtful deliberations throughout this process has not gone unnoticed. Each of you brought enough invaluable perspective, ensuring that we examine the issues at hand with rigor and integrity. It is through such collaborative efforts that we can strengthen our institutions and reaffirm the trust placed in us by the people we serve. Notably, Honorable Speaker, this matter transcended party lines and spoke to our commitment to good governance accountability and fidelity to the Constitution. I commend those who courageously stood for what they believed was right, fostering a discourse that reflects values we uphold. It is essential that we continue to work together, united in our pursuit of justice and ethical governance. Let us carry forward the lessons learned from this experience, remaining steadfast in our commitment to serve the public with honor and respect. Thank you once again for your diligence and dedication. Honorable Speaker, with regards to the business schedule for Tuesday next week, the House is expected to consider the following bills if not concluded today. A. Committee of the Whole House on, number one, Senate amendments to the Food and Feed Safety Control Coordination Bill 2023. And two, Senate amendments, bill, uh, Senate amendments to the Statutory Instruments Amendment Bill 2023. B, second reading of the following bills. One, the Kenya National Library Service Bill 2023. Two, the Equalization Fund Administration Bill, Senate Bill Number 14 of 2023, and three, the Public Finance Management Amendment Bill 2022. Additionally, Honorable Speaker, debate will also be undertaken on the following motions should they not be concluded today. A, number one, Consideration of Senate Amendment to the Food and Feed Safety Control Coordination Bill 2023. Two, consideration of Senate Amendment to the Statutory Instrument Amendment Bill 2023. Three, first report on the implementation status of House Resolution on Committee Reports and Public Participation. Number four, report on the alleged and fair trade practices by foreign investors in Kenya. Number five, second report on employment diversity audit in public institutions. Six, report of the extraordinary session of the sixth Pan-African Parliament PAP. Number seven, consideration of the reports on financial statement of state corporations, Nyanza region. Number eight, consideration of session of paper number five of 2023 on the national policy on labor migration. And nine, third report on consideration of the audited accounts of specified state cooperation. Honorable Speaker, in accordance with the provisions of standing order 42A, 5 and 6, I wish to convey that the Cabinet Secretary for Roads and Transport 
is scheduled to appear before the House on the afternoon of Wednesday, 16th October, to respond to the following questions. Number one, question by private notice number 013, stroke 2024, by the member 